to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. No, I mean, there's your empathy right there. Compare the crowds. This is a peaceful, supporting demonstration. We're not, we're not screaming. We're not threatening people. And, you know, you ask about empathy. It's a tragedy on both sides. You're going to see a, di a divided but fair empathetic response on this side. You're not going to see it on that side. And their own actions right here show that they're not being Absolutely not. They're throwing the word racism out. The only racism I see here today is right there. You know, and I'll tell you one other thing. I took a day off without pay to be here. How many of those people are on welfare, food stamps, Section 8 housing, unemployment? They're here, they're getting paid off of our tax dollars to be here. I support their right to be here. There's no empathy over there. What can we do to actually create more empathy so that everyone could kind of talk to each other? What would you recommend for building a culture of empathy? Lose the culture of entitlement. The culture of entitlement uh, over there. I mean, come on. You know, nobody owes you anything. This is America. You know, if I don't have a job tomorrow and I have to go out and work the fields, you know, go dig ditches for a living, I have to do that. I have responsibilities to my family and the community as a whole. I have to pay my share. I served in the military. I've served my community for my whole life. I've served more in one day than most of those people have served in their entire life. So you feel that there's people who aren't uh, kind of taking responsibility, aren't being empathic. Bill Cosby said it to the African-American community himself. He spoke the truth and they ran him out of town on a rail. Ward Connerly said we need to take responsibility and not put our children at a disadvantage. We need to make them stand on their own, compete equally with everybody. Racism cuts both ways. It's wrong both ways. Because you are in a special interest group does not give you the right to be a racist. Plain and simple. This was a tragedy on the part of poor Oscar Grant who died and poor Officer Meserly on both sides. Justice was served. He will serve his sentence. The system worked exactly the way it was supposed to. And they're not happy with it. I wasn't happy with OJ, but I'm not out there screaming racism. See the world through other people's eyes. Now, empathy is a quality of character that can change the world.